she's YouTube's daredevil, Michelle Corey! And her opponent, fighting in the red corner, Andrea Bontes! Got the room for Tosin, the locker room, and the corner. You know what I expect. Try to spill it if you want to, and not go back to the corners. Hey. Have some fun, show them what you're about. Let's go. It is time, gentlemen. Look at the intensity on both ladies' face. Round one, here we go. We dance in the moonlight, held hands in the park. We stroll. God. Again. Again. Relax and relax and do it. I messaged so many coaches in the city of Los Angeles to work with me, and many of them said no. And ironically, the one person who said, I'll give you a shot, is a 2008 Olympic bronze medalist. Please welcome Sunderland's very own Tony Jeffrey. The highest profile boxer we've ever had in the Northeast, winning an Olympic medal. He's back and looks better than ever. He's the perfect resume of a person you do not want to F with. When I think of Tony Jeffries, I am extremely intimidated. I had 106 fights in my career, right? And I'd done the maths. If I averaged out around four rounds for each fight, and I got punched in the face seven times in each one of them rounds, and then for each one of them fights, I sparred 10 times, six rounds, got punched in the face seven times in each one of them rounds, I got punched in the face around 45,000 times. How crazy is that, isn't it? Good try. That was a sloppy punch. A sloppy punch. Think about this. So get in your stance. So which hand is closer to me? This one. It's got less distance to travel. So with you trying to throw a big wild right hook and you can't even land this one, chances are that one's not going to land. Okay. So try and get your range with your left hand, with your jab. Once you start getting some range shots in, then we can throw that one. Okay, okay? cool. Yeah. Just throw a fast left hand. Oh, that's it. Good. So when I train someone for the very first time, I take them over the basics of boxing, the stance, the movement, the footwork, and some basic punches to see where they are. One, two. One, two. Oh, wait, am I supposed to move out of the way? Oh, if you see a punch coming or something coming at you, you've got to move. It's boxing, you've got to okay. defend yourself at all times. You know that. Okay. The hardest part for Michelle is going to be the dedication. Ooh, one power, one power. This is going to be so, so hard for her. She's going to be waking up at 5 a.m. She's going to be coming to the gym when she's sore and doesn't feel like coming to the gym. Power. Yes. Give me more speed and power. She's got to focus her time and energy on recovery outside of training. Punch two, that's better. That's what I want. She's going to dedicate her full life to the sport of boxing for the next 12 weeks. I'm excited to see if she can get through it. Well done. Good. Let's get ready to rumble! A few years ago, there was this emergence of influencer boxing events really championed by Jake and Logan Paul and KSI and Deji. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, And I feel that I've been kind of running away from this whole influencer boxing thing. The first fight come around, and I thought, what is this? 20,000 sold out instantly. He defended his title on the undercard of two YouTube guys fighting. 
there's a fight response and a flight response. And for a long time, I've had the flight response. But I think it's time for me to conquer that. I want to grow that fighter within me. Tony has agreed to do a 12-week fight camp with me, which means I have 12 weeks to find an opponent and get accepted into one of these events. Uh, also, you got married. Congratulations. That's going to be yes. a, a video, I assume, at some point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. And then outside of that, I am um, looking for a competitor. For what? For boxing. So if anybody is a YouTuber, female, 5'2", 115 pounds. This is sick. Let's see if we're fighting. You threw a hook to me, and I blocked this. Boom. Woo! Yeah. So this is one of my favorite combinations. With our hook two, with our full body weights behind that one. Do it. Oh, I feel that. That was solid. Again. Yes, again. That's the hardest you've ever hit. If I'm gonna prove to a promoter that I'm worthy of a slot on their card, I am going to have to transform my entire lifestyle to that of a professional boxer. And I've done it a couple times before with ballet, figure skating, but this time it's for boxing and I'm going all in. Nice shot. This means training six days a week in the gym, sometimes two a days, coming home doing recovery, ice baths, having a professional chef prepare all of my meals to the perfect macro and caloric amounts. It means canceling all of my social plans for the next three months. It means waking up early. It means dealing with the pain when it comes. And it means putting my best foot forward every morning. And so I've actually put all of those details, including my meal plan, every single workout that I did in my app on mkfit.co. Still okay? Mm -hmm. We're getting ready for my first sparring session. I think it's gonna be quite intense. I'm very nervous. <laughs> I'm yeah. breathing. Good? Uh, yeah. All right, jump in. <laughs> so Michelle's first sparring session is going against Heather, who was one of the trainers at Box and Burn Gyms. And Heather's got a lot of experience. And I think she's got like 20 pounds of weight on Michelle. It's been a while since I've been hit in the head pretty hard like this. So I think it's going to be pretty shocking because it's inevitable, right? We're about a month into training, and this is the first time she's getting in there. I know she's very mean? nervous, but again, we're in here to learn, not here to hurt each other and, and try and knock each other out. We've got four three-minute rounds. All right, three, two, well, one. Wait, question, sorry, sorry. Are there any other, like, rules or things we need to know? No. That's it? Okay. Just boxing, hands okay, up. Cool. Hit and not be hit. Work time, let's go. The first time you step in the ring to spar with another opponent, you've normally got a lot of nerves going through your body. Sometimes there'll be self-doubt kicking in, thinking, why the hell am I doing this? This person's gonna punch me in the head. Keep moving and feeling. Good. You've got left hand high. You dropped your left hand and you got caught. Hands up, hands up. Keep moving. Time. Good work, good work. Good work. Get in the corner. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. As the round up went on, you got better. I don't give a Just stay relaxed, yeah? Now think about this. She's jabbing her hands down here. You can hit with that right hand, but you need to bring your hands back to your face. If you're throwing her a jab and it's coming down there, she's going to counter. Bring them back to your face. Stay relaxed. Okay. Deep breaths. 10 seconds. Work time. That right hand needs to steal. It doesn't matter how good you look on the mitts, you step in the ring and face another opponent, completely different bucket. Uh. The training is one thing, but applying the training in a fight or flight situation where you are going to get hurt if you don't move on a split second notice, those are two separate things. Well, Michelle, you're being predictable. Keep moving. It's cool. Get that moving in. You're fit. You're strong. Hands up. I'm sorry. Take a beat, right. take a beat. Relax, 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 Give relax. Her a I'm okay. I know you are. Come here. Relax, relax for two minutes. Michelle started dropping her hands, and when she dropped her hands, Heather threw a perfect overhand right and knocked Michelle down. Deep breath. Is your head on it? I, I, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure. Deep breath. You see, Sri, did you get a black flash there? Huh? You did? I mean, I close my eyes, I don't know. That's all good. 
Ay uydum. Okay. Ya. Thanks. Hadi. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It's all good. It's all about learning. It's all about learning. You just learn a shit ton there. Deep breath. Let's get on the side of me. You know, being knocked down in a fight, in a spawn session, that can really break someone's heart and break them mentally. It was a little bit hard, but this is boxing and, you know, it's, it's all part of it. The good thing about that is we've got things to work on. We know what we're going to work on. That's the first real boxing that we've done. And this girl's been boxing since she was like 10 years old or whatever, oh. you know? Uh, Go for, go for a little walk outside, let's go. Now the big thing is, what will Michelle do? How will she react to this? Will she quit? Will she think this was a mistake? Or will she come back and finish off the 12 weeks of, of training? Do not give yourself a hard time? Is it all right? It was so frustrating putting so much time and effort into training and then feeling like it all amounted to nothing. None of my combos were working, I was fatigued, and I was so embarrassed because I got dropped in what was supposed to be a friendly spar. Especially because I'm trying to prove to Tony and to promoters that I deserve a spot on a real fight card. And this was the first time I genuinely considered just quitting altogether. How's your head now? Good? Yeah. I'm Clear? Fine. Yeah. All right, let's get in the ring. Now, let me ask you this. Do you want to continue this 12-week program, or do you want to stop and quit? No, I want to keep going. Of course you do. You're a f fighter, a warrior. Of course you do. Boom! Oh, please, help So I'm hoping Michelle catch these chickens because Rocky done it. And if you've ever seen the Rocky movie, he was really good, and I want Michelle to be really good too. Give me power, give me power. Let's do it. Go, 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 go. This one's an absolute killer. No, 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 no. Oh, I've never met a boxer before who's scared of chickens. I got it! Literally none of the training I'm doing matters if I can't get on a fight card. I've had a few very promising calls. There are a couple different organizations that are interested. Hey, we got an offer from Misfits. I just want to check with you before we take it. But I just need to find this opponent. A lot of the issue for me with Creator Clash is just finding an opponent who, in general, wants to do this with me. The reality is, finding a fight for me has been the most frustrating and difficult part of this entire thing. I am a five foot two female social media influencer, boxing hopeful, and finding someone who also fits all of those categories, is really hard. Time! Yes! <sighs> Now I want to do it for real. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. But the 12 weeks were up and fight camp was officially over. So for the next several months, I continued to search for an opponent. And that's when I saw Ludwig's chess boxing event. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Ooh. Mogul Chess Boxing yeah, Championship. And then when the chess boxing event happened in December, I saw Andrea's fight against Dina. And I thought it was amazing. Oh! And they went hard, too. It was I crazy. mean, they went. Andrea is a chess expert who has built her entire social following on chess. And so after the chess boxing thing, I was like, hmm, we're like not perfect height and weight, but I wonder if she'd be into this. So I actually called her. I'm really, really excited to talk with you, first of all, obviously, to congratulate you. And also, I wanted to talk to you about Creator Clash. So there's this up and coming event called Creator Clash, which is actually centered around raising money for charity. This announcement today has me more excited than I've been in a while. Idubs and Anissa's Creator Clash just announced Creator Clash 2. They showed the full card. It's happening in April and it's amazing. When I heard about the mission and the people behind it, this is what actually interested me the most about pursuing this video. I have an opportunity to better myself, to challenge myself, and also hopefully inspire people to donate to a good cause at the same time. I've been talking to them for like nine months, honestly. Oh, wow. So even for like Creator Clash 1, I was 
hoping to participate. Because you did a boxing video already, right? Were you for 60 days or what, how long was it? So I trained technically for the first one and then the fight didn't happen. We should see if it even be possible to add us into Creator Clash this year. Yeah. I, I hope it works. Me too, that'd be so epic. It's happening! It's happening! What? I'm fighting in Creator Clash! Ah! I will be fighting Andrea Botez in Creator Clash too. <laughs> what are you gonna wear? I need your help. <laughs> but here's the thing. Tony is becoming a nomad and traveling the world with his family. We are leaving our lovely home in Los Angeles and I've just booked a one-way ticket to Thailand. Now that the fight is secured, I have eight weeks to reassemble my team and somehow bring this to the finish line without Tony. Tony! How's Europe? Is that where you are still? I'm in Africa right now. Oh my God, I saw your tweet that you're in Africa. That's crazy. Yeah. So mate, you want to fight or what? I'm going to do it, Tony. That's exciting. So I'm here for you. I'm, I'm on your team, obviously, for everything. And if there's any questions, anything at all, you know, it's just a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> challenge accepted, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you for your belief in me and like, when I think of like, like who I'm doing this for, it's it's obviously for me, but it's it's for you. Oh man, oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. It means a lot. So if you're doing it for me, you better f***ing win. I know. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Kevin Watson, and I'm taking over for Tony. Does that make you nervous? Which, which part? The Tony part? Yeah. My relationship with Tony, we are business partners. Uh, we opened the gym together in 2012, and uh, now we're like brothers. Been through a lot together. I I've got big shoes to fill, and I hope that I fill them. My reaction when Tony suggested and asked me if I would take over the camp for Michelle was, I was really excited, nervous at first, but I, I think I really got into coaching because I wanted to be that great coach for somebody. But I never had anyone that really believed in me and, and really pushed me to excel to that next level. I want to be that person for somebody as well. You're welcome. I'm so excited to be working with you. <laughs> Same. Thank you. Feelings mutual, it's great. <laughs> We have the fight secured eight weeks from today against Andrea Botez. So Andrea is four inches taller than me and 20 pounds heavier than me. And how are we gonna do this? The size is with her, but we're gonna be hard to hit. Your movement is gonna make it hard for you to be hit. That movement is gonna neutralize anybody. And she's gonna get tense. She's gonna throw these big looping shots. She's gonna get exhausted. And now understanding you're gonna be fighting someone that's a little bit bigger than you, great. Let's maybe work on some strength and some power. I need to get more confident fighting people bigger than me, so I have the privilege of getting to spar with Haley Sharp. If you've seen Creator Clash, you know Haley is a badass. Period. Possibly fight of the night was Justin Minks and yodeling Haley. Like, it was better than most everything. She is actually a little bit taller and bigger than Andrea, so it's a good opportunity for me to go against an even more experienced and scarier opponent. Go ahead, go ahead, off, Haley. Was absolutely good. I am going to have to get very comfortable in the pocket. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Just keep it simple. Simple, right? The pocket is basically the radius space between the opponent's body and the end of their fist. So I'm basically going to have to get in here, which is also the danger zone. The plan is to teach Michelle how to get inside that pocket, get in there, hit those body shots, and then come up top with Michelle's overhand right. It's a sledgehammer. Have you ever had to fight someone four inches taller than you? Yeah. And 15 pounds <laughs> So I took a fight on um, four days notice, and she was probably about six foot tall. Oh. And there's a picture of us, and it's like this. Oh, my <laughs> god. Look at the height difference. Well, I won that fight in the first round, so that's what we're on the way for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Our strategy is extremely high risk, but also high reward if I can pull it off. I either have to dodge a bunch of punches or eat a bunch of punches. Uh. 
Okay, she's good, she's good, she's good, she's good, she's good. Okay, breathe, 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 all right. You get back in there, breathe. Take two deep breaths, deep breaths. Again, inhale, big inhale, control. For me as a coach, this win, this, this fight means so much to me first and foremost because to, to know that an event like this is supporting uh, the longest day, the Alzheimer's Association, that was just, you know, the icing on the cake for me. Who's on your phone background? <laughs> uh, my phone background for the last eight, nine years has been my mom. My mom has been the most amazing person in my life since day one. In uh, 2014, she was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's. Even though she, you know, doesn't remember everything, she still fights. It's just in her, it's in her DNA. I mean, you're not letting this define you. Absolutely not. It's the worst to see someone's mind go. They're still there, but they're, they're not. You know, that's just an awful thing to see. And to know that my mom's gonna forget who I am is like the worst thing I can imagine, but, but we fight. Sorry. <laughs> How are you feeling? Huh? Ripped. Look at that. <laughs> Tony is in LA for like 12 hours, and amidst all of his world travel, he has so kindly offered to come to the gym and train me for one hour today. That's nice, mate. Yeah. I don't know if you did that intentionally, but you threw a right hand, left hook to the head, yeah. and you threw the right hand, left hook to the body. She was expecting the left hook to the head. F hell. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> This is the one hour I get with Tony of my fight camp before the actual fight. So I'm gonna make the most of it. I'm so excited. Always be prepared. If she's moving back, always be prepared for. There. There. One, two. Ah, we're not going that way. Do it. Perfect. Good. Come here. Do it again. Yes, look, you've gone. You disappeared. Excellent. Good. Jump, jump. Now watch this. So we're in five. Got it to your brick. Right. Step back. Ooh. See that there? Yeah. Right? So like right back in. The referee's saying break. Break, step back. You're supposed to be here. Break, you're supposed to step back and then get on with the boxing. Yeah. What we're going to do is the referee says break, break, you step back. I'm, I'm coming forward, okay. right? Now what's going to happen? The referee's going to see you. Whoa, I told you, step back, step back. He's going to tell you off. But now you're in her head like, she doesn't even want to break. She wants to fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're here like this. You know, imagine what that's going to feel like. Okay. She's going to be like, who oh, f**k? Michelle wants it. Because this is what will give you the advantage. Okay. Little things like that. Good? Yeah. Psychology tricks. Huge. It was good work. Thank you. How are you feeling? Good. Sharp. Sharp. You know, very few mistakes. Now there's something else. If your nose bleeds, it's common for someone to Never do that. I get, my coach will go f***ing crazy if I wipe my blood. They'll, they'll look at that. Because all it takes is boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I've been around boxing my whole life, and I've trained a lot of UFC fighters, athletes, boxers, and I can honestly put my hand on my heart and say Michelle trains as hard, if not harder, than anyone that I've ever worked with. Now, when she goes in and fights another creator, she will win that fight. She will definitely win that fight, I'm telling you. It's time to go to Tampa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How are you doing? Amazing. Yeah. How are you? Good. This is fucking good sound. I know. <laughs> good. Thank you. You good? Yes. Good to see you. The fight starts when you land. Those mind games start right away. That's the first time the fighters will see each other. I think that's when a lot of the nerves start to set in. You can kind of feel that anxiety. You can feel that anxiousness. How do you feel? Good. It's, it's just crazy that like every interaction, every moment is 
part of it. How are you feeling? There'll be a lot of anxiety in the room for sure, but the whole plan with this camp was to be confident but not comfortable. I know Michelle is going to be confident going in there. So Andrea released a video that has micro clips of her training. You want to know how crazy I am? We hired someone to watch every single one of her streams and note any facts or mentions of the fight or her training in any capacity. I've seen everything. And what's funny is that I know they're intentionally short, but it reveals so much. In the still image of her sparring, we saw that her stance is more leaned over and profiled to the right as opposed to forward facing, but we've definitely made adjustments based on all of this. Uh, so f sick of eating. <laughs> this morning is the official weigh-in. Andrea has to come down to 129, and I have to make sure I am at least 120 pounds. So we got chocolate chip pancakes, breakfast burrito, and uh, electrolytes here. If we don't make weight within 10 pounds of each other, then the fight is off. So ironically, doesn't matter how much either of us train because this morning it's all about me eating these pancakes and Andrea being in a sauna suit somewhere in this hotel. <laughs> Marisha Ray, Haley Sharp, Dad! Woo! Look at that! Our next fighter is Michelle Carre. Next up, we have Andrea Botez, Ethan Nestor, John Hennigan, Harley, and finally, last but not least, Ida. All right, one big round of applause for all of our fighters in the red corner, in the blue corner. I think this face-off is very unique. You're in a room with a bunch of different characters from all walks of life. They're all huge personalities. They know what it means to, to, um, to captivate an audience. I'm gonna blow your back out, bro. <laughs> Not if I blow my own back out first. Do you think this <laughs> caveman who looks like an overgrown hobbit, do you think he'd actually stop for a second and be like, maybe I cursed him when I said he's gonna die? <laughs> Our next weigh-in, Michelle Carre. During the weigh-in, Michelle, we know, is going to be at 120. Yeah, showing off the guns. Wow. Michelle weighing in at 120 pounds. Michelle is going to be fighting Andrea Botez. We'll get to see if Andrea comes in at 129. That's the plan. If not, she's going to have to cut some weight. 126 pounds. Michelle, I got something for you. On, oh, back. <laughs> for the face-off. Oh. I hope you're ready to get knocked out by a little girl. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We cannot wait to have an absolutely amazing set of fights tomorrow night. So again, thank you guys all for coming in person. Thank you guys all for watching at home. Woo! And we will see you all tomorrow night. We got amazing access to this wonderful gym in St. Petersburg via Ian and Anissa. We're going to get in our last workout before the fight. Don't tell Andrea, but I've been having some issues with my ankle. <laughs> I rolled it when we were sparring one day. You all right? Good? I think so. We wanted to do both feet so that no one thinks, hey, one ankle's worse than the other, so we taped up both feet. I also got my fight braids done. I figured it was a good idea to practice in it for performing in it. <laughs> so we're going to just kind of be fine-tuning and testing all the little pieces. As we go to the gym and we're training, you know, we're going to have James, Tony, myself there, uh, and I'll be leading that session. Good. Circle right? Nice. I look up to Tony as a trainer and as a, as a boxer a lot, and so I'm really excited for him to yeah. kind of see what we've been working on. It feels as if, if all of those rounds, all of that work, all of that homework that we put in, he's going to understand that, you know, she's been in good hands. She's looking sharp, ain't she? Good. Yes, One. lovely. All eyes are going to be on, and to kind of see and hear that chatter in the background, that's got to be a great feeling as a fighter. Her footwork's insane. Yeah, she's, she's fast there. To go into a pro fighter gym and for all of those coaches to take note, I'm like, damn, this girl can crack. Andrea's finished. 
Uh. <laughs> a lot of things moving, a lot of things happening right now. A lot of peripheral stuff happening. It's good. Yeah. Stay focused, right? It's going to be just focused. like this. Yeah. When you're quartering someone, you are not a safety net, but you are a sense of security and safety for them. You're that voice that they've been listening to. I've never cornered anybody before, but now I'm cornering Michelle on fight night. Definitely not nervous, but you know, a little anxious. After seeing that, I mean, I wasn't worried before, but after seeing that session there, we're good. Yeah, we are. Okay. We're good. Yeah. So, you know, Tony's commentating for the fights, and it's just going to be James, myself, and Michelle in that corner. We don't have the comfort of having an Olympian in the corner with us. We got to get the job done. A lot of people think that boxing is a one on one, just solo sport, but it is far from that. You really need a strong team. We're all there wearing t shirts that support Michelle and support what we're out there to do. So, we partnered with our friends at Yes Theory and Seek Discomfort to produce our first ever apparel line. <gasps> Damn, these look sick. I've always believed that Challenge Accepted and Yes Theory were two brands cut from the same cloth, and now we are, literally. And then I think I'm gonna have our, our coaches wear these in the corner. That would be amazing. In the fight, when Michelle comes to the corner and she sees us in those t-shirts and, and in those hats, she knows, hey, my team's here. I think there's gonna be a lot of comfort for her in that. What has been the most unexpectedly challenging part about this? Getting used to getting hit in the head. It's very bizarre. Hmm. Like that for me was my seeking discomfort in yeah. all of this and to like find that inner warrior within myself. This episode took over a year and a half of our team's efforts to bring to life. And we explicitly chose to not have a sponsor in this video. Therefore, we have decided to make all of the challenge accepted apparel that you see in this video, including these limited edition custom hand wraps available to you. The seek discomfort icon is a lightning bolt. In the challenge accepted icon is a star, which is hidden in the A. And so we put them next to each other on some of our favorite pieces of the collection. If you are interested in being in our corner, the best way you can support us is by checking out the apparel with the link in the description. She's gonna take a beating from you. She's not Listen, I, I'm not a meteorologist, but that might be the weather on set. <laughs> Once again in beautiful sunny Tampa, Florida from the Emily Arena here for Creator Clash number two. Backstage prior to the fight, it's, it's chaos. <laughs> There's so much happening, so many different people. You got superheroes and Avengers and you got mariachi bands, just sensory overload. But we knew we had to stay focused. You can't get distracted. You can't let all these different things going on distract you what, what you're there to do, and that's to win a fight. It is the legendary boxer's now coach himself, Box and Burns finest, Tony Jeffries. Tony, how you doing, man? Mid, I'm so excited to be here. Like you mentioned, the energy in this room is electric. Just this arena. Yeah, I can't believe it. I boxed in the semi-finals of the Olympic Games and it was nothing like this. That just tells you how big... This is a brawl, yeah, avoid that. Oh. You can't help but hear audience and I could sense Michelle was getting kind of nervous and I knew okay I got to keep her calm I got to keep her you know relaxed and you won't be in this position she will be before we wrap up before we change or anything uh, I want to get Michelle out there and, and make sure that she sees the audience and, and just kind of gets those those little bit of nerves out not that bad right all good things.
to Haley Sharp. Haley Sharp is your winner, and she is now standing by with our in-ring interviewer, Kim. Now, let me ask you this. Do you want to continue this 12-week program, or do you want to stop and quit? No, I want to go. Of course you do. You're a fighter, a warrior. Of course you do. So many people would stop now and quit. So many people would have curled up after they were hit in the face. I knew you've got it in you. You've got it in you to be great, and you will be great. All right, let's go. Nice and relax. Nice and relax. Easy work. This is it. What should we wait for? Andrea Botez showing off the gun. Her opponent about to make her way in, Michelle Carre. I'm not sure, but to my little smooth brain, I can say for sure Michelle looks like a very experienced fighter. And look at that. Andrea starts to cut the ring off a bit versus chasing. Charlie, I think it goes without a doubt by saying this might be our most technical fight of the night so far. It's looking that way. Both fighters honestly have a... Set it up. Set it up. That was a big right hand. Probably the biggest shot he's thrown on the night. Just missed with that one. Nice right hand on the break there for Michelle. I'm telling you, man, that was a great first round. Hey. Amazing, amazing. Great job. Great stay disciplined. No brawls, right? Great job. Got to the ropes a couple times. Right? Stay disciplined. The clinch is going to work. Don't push her. Step back and look for that shot. She's dropping her hands when you step back. Let's go, champ. Going into round two, we're going to see more physical warfare from both ladies. A great fight so far. Now let's see what happens next. You are Michelle, that right hand, she's gone to it a couple times now. Maybe starting to get a bit repetitive. You want to start setting up a little better, Tony. Yeah. yeah. She's just swinging that big right hand again. Yeah. A little bit short. She is letting it fly. Oh. Andrea trying to stay in the middle of the ring here, not give up that pressure because this is what happens when she does. Andrea, she's not intimidated by this. She's there for the fight. No, she's standing her ground too. Beautiful footwork there for Michelle to alleviate some pressure and then tags her with a right hand out of it, Tony. Andrea is either one shot or following up with a couple. Last couple of seconds here, round number two. Bear down from Michelle at the end of the round. You want to talk about intent? Breathe, breathe, breathe. Hey, breathe. Having fun? Let's be great out there, right? 
Doubles and triple those jabs, okay? It's gonna work. Her hands are coming low now, right? That right hand, it's gonna be there. Follow with the hook. Her right hand's really starting to come down. Stay fresh. Keep those legs, right? Keep those legs. You know what you're doing, right? Close fight through two rounds. Here we go with round number three. Nice jab, though. Andrea, she answers back. A little blood seeping out of the nose here from Michelle. Michelle didn't know it at the time, but that exchange broke her nose. Nose is bleeding. Nose is bleeding. She stepped back, kind of wiped her nose a little bit. I could just see the look on Michelle's face. Beast mode was activated. Big right hand. Give me the right hand. Andrea rolls with it, but you are seeing a little bit of a swelling on that left eye of Andrea Botez. Eats another jab and another right hand. And Andrea feels that one. You can see immediately, Charlie. She put that glove up to see it. Yeah. Did I get hit by that? Is that really what just happened? Three, the technical ability around right. that same right. water in the ring together. We're seeing it. Uh, beautiful right. fight. Right hand there for Michelle. Knocks Andrea off balance. Her right is unbelievable. Her corner urges her to come forward and follow up on that. Tony, it looks like that's where the openings will be. But what a very well matched fight, I'm sure you'd agree. Absolutely. Last couple seconds here, round number three. And a right hand to the body to end the round there from Michelle Carre. Gentlemen, let's listen in to the corner of Andrea Botez here. All she's looking for is that big right hand. Okay? So if you step into her range, be ready. Boom, draw it out, counter. That right hand is trash. It's trash. You hit harder, you're longer, you're stronger, and you work way harder. This is your time to take over. We need these rounds. Tony, I got to say something here. Right well, if that's the right hand that's done the most damage in the fight, so it can't be that bloody bad. <laughs> and you heard him say this at the end of that instruction, we need this round. They obviously feel like Andre might be down a couple of rounds here. Woo! Nice, both ladies jab. And Andrea's starting to find a home for it there, but a right hand sneaks in from Michelle, left hand behind it as well. It's been a very high-paced fight. They're feeling the effects of this five-round action. Nice counter there from Andrea Botez. And we had some success there, with the most success she's had in the fight so far. Oh, oh nice job by Michelle. Yeah, Michelle gets one through. Last 10 seconds. Let's see who can punctuate this round. Nice. What a fight. fight. What a fight. Beautiful round. Hey, right here. Right here, breathe, breathe. All of that right hand. Doing great. Set it up. Not everything's got to be a huge shot. Set it up, doubles and triples, right? One more sit, breathe. This is it right here. You're doing great, Michelle. Let's go. Killing it. Hey. This is it right here. This is where our winners will be made. This fifth and final round. Who's got what's left in the tank? And both girls coming out like an absolute firecracker here, round five. Where did that energy come from? Right hand. Beautiful right hand there from Michelle. Oh. Best punch of the fight so far. Andrea keeping the lights on after that is just still impressive, though. My goodness. Oh, another jab there from Andrea. That lands. Back and forth we go. Highly oh. contested right hand. Big shot there from Michelle. My God. Michelle is the grim reaper out here. Landing big shots. Woo! One just waves by her face again. Oh, another right hand from Michelle. 25 seconds left. Can Andrea turn the tide? She'll need a knockdown in order to even make this one close. Jab down the pipe. Continuing to work that jab. Andrea comes forward, eats another jab for it. Shots to the body, there's 10 seconds. Yeah, I think that's gonna be all she wrote there. Oh, oh. Right hand. Big shot to end the fight. Wow, what a matchup and what a finish. Crazy. What a fight. Look at that. Smile in the future, what are you talking about? Amazing. Yes, Michelle. You did it. You f***ing did it. You f***ing killed it right there. Good job, Michelle. Hey, hands up. Get your hands up. Michelle Carre might be the most technically skilled female influencer fighter we've seen in the entirety of the influencer boxing scene here. I, I, would, I would be very comfortable saying that, yeah. We are going to now get our official decision from Akinola. Ladies and gentlemen, Tino Wilco scores the fight 49 to 46. Braden Jackson scores the fight 49 to 46. James O'Connor scored the fight 49 to 46. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Michelle Curry! I am here with your winner, Michelle.
Michelle Carre. Michelle, you had more combos than McDonald's out there. Tell us, what was your strategy going into this fight? Well, first I want to say a huge hand to Andrea because she was amazing. And I'm so honored because of Ian and Anissa to be the last female fight. Hey, Tony, I did this for you. Let's give it up for your winner, Michelle Carre. What a win for Michelle Carre. Tony, talk to me, man. That one was emotion filled. She got it done. Yeah, I'm so happy, so proud of Michelle and the work she put in. And there she is. What a win for Michelle Carre. I'm so proud of what you've done. I'm so Thank proud. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Congratulations. Oh, you won me some money, so. Are you serious? You bet yeah. on me? Yeah. There was yeah. betting?